Can you run Microsoft SQL Server on an Apple system on Apple Silicon, an M1 or an M2 chip? It's a question I get asked a lot because Microsoft SQL Server is a very popular database product. It's used extensively in industry. We use it when we're teaching business intelligence, data analysis, or really anything that to do with databases because it is so popular in industry. Well, Microsoft SQL Server is designed to run on top of Windows operating systems on an x86 architecture. That's the main target for Microsoft SQL Server. So it's not going to be able to install natively on Apple Silicon. Well, in this video, I'll show you how we can get around that so that I can run it on my Apple, in my case, a little Apple Mac mini that I'm running it on. You can run it on your MacBook, whatever the case may be. Now, there are some options here. Microsoft has released a version of SQL Server. It's experimental that runs on an x86 Ubuntu. So if we can get an x86 Ubuntu running on our Mac, which we can using Parallels 19, then we could run SQL Server in that virtual machine. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to run SQL Server on my Mac itself, and then I'm going to use a virtual machine to have all of the different SQL Server management tools to control and work with that database. There's really two parts to a database. There's the database engine, and then there's the tools to use to, to create and work with the database. So that's what we're gonna do in the video. Let's go take a look. There is definitely more than one way that I can get SQL Server running in my environment on a Mac. For example, with Parallels 19, I now have an Ubuntu x86 emulation VM that I can use, and then I can install SQL Server because Microsoft also has some experimental SQL Server that will install in that Ubuntu environment. Now, I'm going to do a bit of an easier way and in a way that allows me to use tools. I'm going to install Docker on my Mac, and I'll put the URLs for all this down below in the description. So when I download Docker for Apple Silicon, I'm just going to get the, the DMG file, I'm going to mount it, and I'm going to drag it into applications. I've already done that on this machine, and that's going to install Docker in my, on my Mac. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure Docker, and then I'm going to have a Windows 11 virtual machine with all my SQL tools. So in Docker, once I've installed it, I need to go into the settings, and I need to go into uh, features that are in a development. And I'm going to choose to have the Rosetta because that's going to allow me to have the x86 environment. So now that I have that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to run this script. Again, I'll put the URL down below and I'm going to download and install a container with Microsoft SQL Server. Now it's important to copy the password in this, in this command line and you will normally change it for something that's more applicable to you. So it comes with a super strong password. You'll want to change it to your own super strong password. I'll drop into a terminal and I'll execute this script to install a Docker container with x86 because I've got the Rosetta environment and this is going to allow SQL Server to run on my Mac Silicon. So now I've got this running. I have to remember this password. So I usually will copy it. And again, I'll normally change it to something more applicable for me. Uh, obviously, if I'm running this script, we don't want this to be on every instance that I create. And then what I'm going to do is you'll see that that'll execute and install SQL Server as a container in Docker. This is great. But what I really want to do is be able to connect up to it and use SQL Microsoft tools in order to manage and work with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my network. In my case, I'm connected to a wireless network and I'm going to go into the information to the network that I'm connected to and just make sure that I know what my IP address is. Because what I'm going to do is take a Windows 11 virtual machine and connect through the network, the internal network, to the SQL Server running as a Docker container. Now I can open up the Windows 11 virtual machine that I've created in Parallels and I can go in and I can download SQL Server Management Studio or any of the other Microsoft tools that I use to manage SQL Server. I'll download and install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and then I'll launch SQL Server Management Studio. Now, this isn't a self-contained instance of SQL Server. I'm running the SQL Server in a Docker container on my Mac, and I'm going to run the management tools on a virtual machine using Parallels 19. If you want to have a self-contained VM, then you'll want to go the, the Ubuntu x86 emulator route. 
I'll put in the IP address for the Mac, the Docker container. I'll use SA as the user, and I'll put in that super secret password that, uh, that we had when we ran the script. Again, you could run your own password in there. Now I have a SQL Server Management Studio. You can see I'm actually connected to that Docker container that's running on my Mac Silicon. And now what I can do is I can create a database. I'll create a cool database, let's say learning and technology, and that database will be created because it'll execute against that container object. Now I'm running SQL Server on my Mac and I'm accessing it with management tools using my Windows 11 virtual machine all on one system. It's not all on one self-contained virtual machine, but it's all on one system. Great for learning, great for development and study. I'd be really interested to hear your experiences in installing the setup the way I showed you in this video. It's very useful if you're studying or doing anything with Microsoft SQL Server and you're a Mac user to be able to have that environment set up. Now be aware that the way I've set it up in this video, you're going to have it running on your Mac and accessed through a VM. You can also, through the Ubuntu environment, the x86 environment, create it all in one monolithic VM, which then makes it transportable as one, one unit. In that case, you're going to connect up to the local host as opposed to, uh, as opposed to going through the network. If you're interested or you need any information, just comment down below on that. But I hope the video was helpful. Like it if it was and comment down below. I put the links in the description to go and get the Docker for the Mac uh, Silicon and to run the script in order to set up SQL Server in that Docker environment. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.